Good day. Today, uh, we will we will discuss how to write a literature map for your research. What is a literature map? In a literature map, we identify the variables you will use in your research and mapping them to demonstrate how you how will you conduct in your literature review again literature map is used to identify the variables that is important in your research and mapping those variables To use it in your review of related literature. So, uh, literature map is a picture, picture that shows uh, information in order. We say that the picture is worth a thousand words. So how I did my literature map in my proposal, in my outline proposal. These variables are all necessary for me to arrive into a research question that I want to solve. And for the main question, That is the what you want to answer in your research. This is the title, but the main question is this one. Before I, I arrive at this title, the research title is the gap that you want to solve. Has that gap been studied before, what are the findings in those gaps, and what is new that you can contribute as a solution to those gaps. So one of the hardest problem in doing research is finding a problem. This problem is the research question. So how do we do it? First, you need to you need to think of a research your research interests. What are the things that you are interested? For me, I'm interested in identifying coffee beans into its species and grading them because uh, as a background I grew up in a family of coffee farmers my grandmother has a coffee, coffee farm with several species so I want to identify whether a coffee beans belong to this species or to the another species. There are four species of coffee beans, Arabica, Robusta, Excelsa, and Liberica. And once they are dried and they are taken out of their husk, these coffee beans for me look the same. Some are big, some are small, but most of them looks the same. So in my dissertation, this is the problem, that is the problem that I want to solve. How can I automate the classification of copy and also the grading? The grading is important in copy because in the 
because farmers want to profit fast in their products instead of waiting the coffee to ripe at, at cherry red some farmers pick their coffee while they are still green or yellow so that it is a one time picking up from the coffee trees but though it is past it is not it is not recommended because the green copy and yellow copy taste differently from red copy so that is the background why I am interested in my research problem and before I arrive at this uh, and before I arrive at this uh, research outline title and before I arrive at this research question I need to study so many literature so the first variable are what are the methods of automating copy copy bean grading so I will try to increase it So what are the variables, methods of automating copy beans? Because I am interested in classification of classification, grading of copy beans. What are the, the studies that had been done before? So there are chemical methods near infrared spectroscopy, Raman spectroscopy, these are the authors that have done it. Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy, electronic nose, electronic tongue, classification of copy using artificial neural network. I downloaded these articles and try to read them, read them all the methods and and then I decided that I want to focus my studies on this one classification of copy using natural using artificial neural network not only that this is the one variable another variable is Philippine copy. Why do I need to study copy? Why I am interested in the Philippine copy? These are the authors that have study, studied the Philippine copy. And I, based on reading, uh, I am interested in copy because they are high valued crops they are an import commodity of the Philippines it is very important to have a literature about Philippine copy to convince the panel why do you want to study that uh, that agricultural product if it is not if, if it cannot be exported uh, so why you need to study that so you need to as a researcher you need to look what are the what are the focus of the university for example in Cavite State University the focus are kopi, cacao, makapuno dragon fruit those those four products are the research trust of Cavite State University so aside from being 
aside from being being my interest when I was uh, I was growing up I am interested in copy copy research because uh, National Com Copy Research Development and Extension Center is also located at Cavite State University. So you you need this kind of variable. What kind of product you want to focus into? And also, another reason is the availability of materials. I choose to study copy because I know there are materials that I can find. I know that, uh, I knew that copy grow in Cavite. There are many farmers, copy farmers in Cavite that if my research is uh, that could be beneficial my research should be beneficial to these copy farmers so these are the variables that you need to look into and also the third variable is the copy grading there is a need for copy grading for standardization of copy grading. So the first one in your RRL should be about copy. The second one is about copy grading. And the third one is about what are the methods of automating the copy grading. So, uh, notice that in this literature map, there are three colors. There are green, yellow, uh, pink, pink violet, and there is uh, this color, green, blue, blue, green. So I decided first uh, I decided what product that I will focus then on that product, what I will do is automation of copy grading uh, I've gathered literature step three is I gathered literature on, on what are the techniques or methods that have already existed that can be applied in copy bin grading and out of that technique being an electronics engineer I chose that I would focus into artificial neural network. Or I will use image processing and artificial intelligence for for copy grading. So the next variable is image processing and artificial intelligence for copy. What are those studies that already been done in copy grading? And this, I have found all this study. I have read them. What are their findings? What are the weaknesses and strength of these researches? And I try to find a gap. Where will, where is, is there any gap? Is there any recommendation that I can fill in among the study 
of copy researchers. Out of that, I read that uh, I think I'll need to focus in feature selection. I've read, it, I've read also the works of this author. And I have also found a gap, find a gap, found a gap of image enhancement by histogram equalization. So from image processing, it went down to features, feature selection methods, then it went down to methods of image enhancement by histogram equalization. So this is the research question that I have found. How to solve large data feature extraction in green copy beans grading using this is the research question first how to solve large data picture extraction in green copy beans that is by artificial intelligence and image processing that is my answer to that and i think in the back of my mind, there is a gap that I can that I can solve. So. Because I am interested in artificial intelligence, I move on to this. I read on on this uh, study about artificial intelligence, the future feature selection selector, support vector machine, the classifier by feed forward, back propagation, neural network. There is a solution here prevention of overfitting and dropout so it is now narrowed into this what are the gaps that I can solve by combining the by combining the problems encountered in this study. I want to continue what have been the findings of these researchers. So this is the, I also, how after finding a research question, this is Remember, this is an outline proposal. So this, this research question is very broad. And in my university, uh, the rule is uh, working research. As I work on on this, I find I found out specific problems that I can solve as I work on work on this. This is just an example of an outline literature map. So what is my How I will implement, how I will implement, how will I implement 
the the solution to these problems. It is by FPGA. It is by FPGA. So I also research the different studies about FPGA because I am interested in image processing. What are those image processing systems that is implemented in FPGA? What are the gap also in FPGA which in which I might also enter into? What are there is also a gap in here, parallelism in build programmable gate array based system, pipelining in programmable gate array based system, FPGA based SD card system. So there are three three areas wherein there is a gap in build programmable gate array. But after reading all this literature, downloading and reading this literature, this is the main question. the main question. How to solve large data picture extraction in green copy bin grading using FPGA implementation? That is the research question that I want to answer. But the main question is, is very broad during those uh, during those uh, outline presentation. And this is the title of my research, FPGA based image processing implementation, uh, picture extraction for green copy bins grading. So that is a literature map. It is a uh, you organize you organize in one picture you organize in one picture all those researches that you have been down that have you have been downloaded all those researches that has been you have read already out of those researches you will have an idea where is the area wherein I can enter where is the area where there is a gap wherein I can enter wherein this there is a problem that has not been done before. Uh, literature map is very important because if you did not search for literature, for so many literature, there is a possibility that your idea, although you think that it is original, it has already been done before because you did not study all of the literature available it may have been done before it, maybe it has been published and what's the purpose of your research if you are repeating if you are repeating what has already been done Your research, the purpose of your research should be noble so that you will not waste your time, energy, effort, and money. 
and that research will be your contribution to the body of knowledge. So that's the, this is the literature map. Single picture, single picture showing all the researches that I have been hybrid. And this also proved that I have exhausted all means that my research problem is original and it is has not been done before. This is a proof that my proposed title is not been have not been done before. So this is the literature map, but this is the re review of related literature. Let's go back. Again, this is my title proposal, outline proposal, and it is different from my final manuscript. So chapter 2 is theoretical framework, review of related literature. First, I discussed uh, Philippine copy. These are the authors that also included in the literature map. Na year 2010, Mishra Slater 2012, so on and so forth. The first discussion is about Philippine copy. Then I move on to copy grading. Copy grading in the Philippines is based in Philippine national standards. These are grades of copy. These are the species. Aside from Philippine national standard, there is a ASEAN standard, Association of Southeast Asian standard. Southeast Asia nation standard for copy bean. Then I go on to methods of automating copy bean grading, chemical methods. The near infrared is spectroscopy. Then Raman is spectroscopy. Uh, I've summarized the pros and cons of these methods. Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy, electronic nose and electronic tongue, classification of copy using artificial neural network, image processing and artificial intelligence for copy. Then I go on, what are the topics? that I am interested to do in image processing of copy. Uh, these are the literature that I have found in the internet, in the journals. Again, uh, the Mendeley knowledge is very essential in this one, especially in writing your review of related literature. You need to do this using the Mendeley, which I have already discussed in my previous video. Then I have also discussed about picture selection methods, classification using artificial intelligence, classifier, prevention of overfitting and dropout. So all of these are summarized in the literature map. are the start with Philippine copy, copy grading, methods of copy bin grading, 
these are all in the written in the review of related literature in terms of paragraph form but in the literature map you presented it in terms of a picture So that's how you do your literature map. From general knowledge down to specific knowledge. All of this uh, general knowledge will give you an idea. General variables like this one, Philippine copy, copy grading methods of automating copy being grading will give you an idea about the problem that you want to that you want to solve you we start with a bigger picture then we zoom in into a specific problem that we want to solve so uh, that's how research is done. Uh, researches are based in other people's study also. We build up on the work of other people. We continue their findings, their recommendation. So that's it. That's how we do the literature map. Again, this is the title proposal, outline proposal literature map. This is very different from the final manuscript literature map. Thank you very much. I hope you learned something from today's lesson. Uh, God bless and keep safe from the COVID virus. Thank you very much for listening.